So now that we have the SSH server enabled, uh, we're going to install the Webmin. Webmin is like a control panel. Um, if you guys heard of uh, cPanel um, or even a direct admin, if that's even still a thing, um, basically it's a web script um, control panel that has a, a um, GUI interface. So. Um, to explain furthermore about that, we're able to control the whole computer from a web browser. Uh, we can also have the um, Apache, uh, MySQL, uh, set up an FTP services, even email services, which we're going to get into um, later on in the video series here. Today we're going to be installing the control panel itself and setting up the functionality of everything. Then we're going to move on to the next series. So. Um, I will have commands here for y'all, and uh, you guys can, uh, you know, copy and paste, which is, I intend for you guys to do so. Uh, if you have uh, Ubuntu opened up, or even if you have your SSH server, um, well, connected to the SSH server with uh, PuTTY, you can do that as well, um, either or. Uh, but however, we're just going to move that towards the side, and we're just going to work on it w inside Ubuntu. So, first things first, we want to copy this command. We are opening up a editor and we're edi editing our respiratory sources. So we want to go all the way down, all the way down. So that's, that's the last of it and um, hit enter a couple of times. So now we're at the bottom of the line. Now, you want to start off where it says dep you want to copy right here. You don't want to copy the slash slash, just start from deb and copy that in and paste it. Then hit control O and it'll ask you, would you like to write the file? Yes, we would like to go ahead and hit enter and hit control Z. And now we're back here. So we want to get the um, files from the web min, uh, dot com so we can start the initialization. Uh, so w get then the uh, file pathway and now that's downloaded and we're going to enter in the next several commands and that's all right now we're going to go ahead and update our respiratory and depending on your internet uh, it could take some time usually it's pretty fast so it just depends on your connection and see yep yeah, it's pretty fast and now we're going to install the webmin. And we're going to go ahead and hit Y. And as this installs, I will come back to y'all in a second. Okay, so now it's completely installed. And it gave us a URL. So, you can go ahead and just uh, um, click on this. And it'll bring up a uh, that web page. And open that link and we want to click on the advance and we're gonna make an exception here and confirm or get the certificate then confirm then it'll allow us to get in here um, if you're still not able to get in towards the um, your webmin all you got to do is know the IP of that server so 192.168.1.41 uh, this is the local host and um, so it's a HTTPS, then um, you can do, dang it, so HTTPS, colon, slash, slash, then you can do, um, you know, your local host, uh, point zero, point zero, point one, and add the port, which is uh, 10,000, and we're going to have to do the same thing, and, you know, confirm, and it'll get us to the website, or even the um, 192. 192.168.1.43, I believe it was. Oh, 41. Okay, 41. Same thing. And um, even if you're not at this computer, and if, for example, if you're just in the living room, you can even access it on your phone as long as you're on the same network. Or if you port forward and know how to do all that, which I'll get into networking later on in the series. Um, for example, I can just um, open up a uh, um, Google Chrome here on my end, 
and I can just type in that HTTPS colon slash slash uh, 192. Oops, crap. Numlox HTTPS colon slash slash 192.168.1.41. Then colon, then the port number, which is 10,000. And notice that I am on my Windows computer. So I can access it from my Windows computer, which is pretty freaking awesome. And we'll go ahead and allow that. And you know, um, uh, which were root. So you can go ahead and log in. I logged in as um, my uh, root administrator because uh, I want full access. So all this stuff right here, uh, we'll go ahead and allow notifications. Um, you may never know because you'll start getting these packages um, that you've got to install, which henceforth I was about to get to. Um, so we got um, 192 packages. So we definitely want to start updating our server with all of this. And yes, it's highly recommended. You don't have to, but it's highly recommended. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. And this will take a moment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and um, after I'm done, I'll come back. Uh, just make sure that... Okay, install now. Okay, now I'll be right back. So, now our Ubuntu server has successfully installed everything. Um, all um, 196 packages. We want to go ahead and reboot. This is going to reboot the server. Uh, if we go down, yep, see, totally reboot the server. So it's going to come back up along with the website. So the website will automatically will um, start back up as soon as the server is back up. So we're going to wait till that comes back up. If I can say back up any more times, I swear to gosh. So now our server's back up. Um, all you gotta do is just, you know, retype the IP or uh, hit refresh and I'll bring it back up. Um, now this is just a um, brief overview of all of the CPU, the real memory, virtual memory, and your HDD, your hard drive, and along with other information as well. Um, if you ever need to get back to this information, there is the um, bell right here on the top right. All you gotta do is just click on that, and it tells us a little bit more information. Uh, when's the last time someone logged in? Um, someone's currently on the session right now, which that's that's my computer IP. Uh, notifications. Uh, we already did the packets or packets package updates, and we can even add favorites right there. So, yeah. Now um, there's even a refresh. Um, button right there and it'll uh, refresh the, the whole server to see where we're currently at so we're not using too much CPU okay so we're gonna have to in um, install a couple of services because we are making a hosting um, site on the server uh, there's a lot more other things that we can do uh, but for now we're worried about making a, um, a web server so we want the Apache server so you want to go to the unused modules go to the Apache web server now I'll say like this, um, this is installed. Um, what we want to do is install it. So it'll say click here, go ahead and do so. And now it's going to install the, um, the functions for it. And there we go. Didn't take too long to install. I'll return to the uh, Apache web server and now we have a complete function so uh, for example if we uh, typed in that, um, that server IP uh, for one without that just everything by default um, here you go um, I'll get more into depth with this uh, of how to you know get more functionality out of this and do a little bit basic coding uh, but we're just installing the the basics here uh, we also want to install the uh, DHCP server uh, click here definitely gonna install that and move back to the DHCP so um, you can uh, manipulate this or set up your own network uh, depends on how you want to do things which we'll discuss later in another video uh, a lot of the stuff we're going to talk into in a later video it's just the stuff that we need to worry about installing right now so um, the MySQL database server we definitely need that and 
you go ahead and click here. So now that's installed, we can go back to the MySQL database server and now we can um, add um, a database, add tables, add users, all your um, MySQL functionality. Uh, we're going to need our uh, PHP configurations, which is we need to adjust the uh, global module and have the correct path. And we'll go ahead and uh, just go ahead and hit save. And now we're going to see if there's anything else that needs to be installed. Uh, I feel like there's something wrong with this. <laughs> but I'll get to that in a second. Uh, I feel like um, that's, that's it for the most part. Let me just double check on the PHP configurations. Make sure that's up to par. Okay, so I had to do a little bit of uh, troubleshooting um, to get PHP uh, services on towards the server. Is we're gonna have to do a little bit things off of this um, off of the site, not on the site, but off of the site. What we want to do is open up a terminal or go back towards our Ubuntu server uh, and open up a terminal. So I'm just gonna open up a terminal right here. Uh, I'm gonna log in as root. Uh, I'm gonna type in a couple of command. Oops. That's not the password. So, okay. Well, uh, we're gonna just close out of that, and we're gonna move on towards <laughs> the actual uh, server itself. Um, so I did try to run the um, a PHP script, and it just shows up in a text. So definitely something that's wrong right there, uh, but that's going to be easy to fix. So what we want to do is type in uh, sudo apt get install php lib apache 2 tech mod tech php space php tech m crypt space php tech my sql and hit enter oh i spelled that wrong and don't worry i will have the commands here for you all and we're gonna go ahead and hit y and install all of that And now that's all installed. So the next thing is we want to type in sudo nano forward slash etc slash apache 2 slash mod mods tech enabled tech dir dot config or conf. And right now we just want to add the um, our index uh, PHP right here, index.php, uh, right between there. Oh, it's actually already installed or already placed in. Okay, well, never mind for that. Uh, that's actually good. Uh, we're going to actually cancel out of that. Uh, we actually want to check one last thing. So, actually, no, I believe that we're good. Um, what we're going to do is um, type in sudo system ctl restart then apache 2 this is going to restart the apache services and if all went well we now have a working php there we go now we can see all of the functions so um that wasn't so bad it's just a little bit of troubleshooting and a little bit annoying that um, webmin can not install the services on the sideline so if we go back to the PHP config 
Uh, everything's all right. If we go back and okay, so what we want to do is probably edit all of this stuff. So let's open up a notepad. And move that to the side, copy that, and copy that. So, now let's move this towards the right and put that in. And go back to our modules. So, let's get rid of the, let's make, no, I just want to copy that, move this down. I'm just curious if we just got rid of the five and paste that in. Looks like no functions. Okay, that's completely fine. Um, we want to replace that with the um, with this, so it's in the correct path. It's a seven point zero, then slash, then. Even with the 7.0 slash. So, hypothetically, or theoretically, everything should be good. Everything's good. We corrected it. We got the correct path. So, that's all we needed to do. Is, um, we got the correct pathway, which was, uh, etc. Slash PHP, slash 7.0, uh, and forward slash. So something that's definitely need to be addressed with the webmin, uh, but uh, for now that's how you get the PHP functions to work correctly. So in the uh, next video, we're going to be talking about um, setting up the Apache web server and going through each and every one of these modules and talking a little bit more about the functions itself so um and we're going to talk about security and networking and setting up multiple domain names uh if this video helped you out i would truly appreciate you know a thumbs up uh, if you guys can subscribe to my channel and also share this content on your social media anything and everything does help out um Additionally, uh, if you guys can um, go towards our website here, so if we typed in uh, nalalock.com slash askme, um, every Saturday I'm going to do a Q&A, uh, so I will answer your questions uh, in a video every Saturday. You can put your uh, your real name or just your username or even anonymous on it and, um, and your message and who is it for. Uh, just go ahead and click on Codextral and hit submit. Uh, I will be answering anyone's questions uh, with a video on Saturday. So, yeah, see you guys in the next video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, take care.